Well, hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. The sound of the sleigh bells, which you'll hear right now, oh, let us know that we have another holiday release coming at you today, and what a release it is. And what a holiday it would be if you got this as a gift. We are going to look at the brand new Gucci eyeshadow palette. We're going to talk all about it. I'm going to give you my very pointed, if maybe confused a bit, thoughts at the end. I do have a few things to say about this guy, but let's get right into it and look at it first. Like I said, this is the uh, new Gucci eyeshadow palette. It is considered shade, it is considered zero one. So the first, this is called the Florals palette. It is, if you haven't heard of this yet, do you mind sitting down for me so you don't faint? It is a very Gucci price tag of $149, not $150. They came up with $149. Let's look at it inside. Well, let's actually, before we do that, let's look at the case that it is in, okay? This is a very, very heavyweight case. Um, this would be a heck of a paperweight. It would look absolutely gorgeous on any sort of a vanity, bathroom, or my goodness, anywhere you're gonna have people over. It is absolutely beautiful, and as I said, it is a the floral theme, so that works really, really well. Let's look inside at the, it actually comes out here. This palette lifts out. So rather than blind you with the mirror, I think I will just show you it lifted out of the palette. We're also going to look at it in swatches in two different lighting situations. So you will make sure to get the swatches and the, and, uh, the look that you need in two different lights. But there it is in the, in the pan. And as I told you, it just kind of comes in and out of the palette here, just that simply and closes. This would travel very well. This is extremely secure, um, but a bit heavy and they do charge us in our luggage don't they for weight so it is a little bit heavy the uh the floral eyeshadows come in metallic satin and matte and once again i would be remiss if i didn't remind you it was 149 dollars. you are paying for the shadow you are paying for the packaging and you are paying for the name gucci speaking of gucci this to me is very reminiscent of 1970s gucci not just in the floral here and the black kind of energy there but also in some very retro shades, especially this light blue shade, which you are getting a little preview of on my eyes. But it also reminds me of the fall winter 2021 Gucci uh, runway collection, which I'll show you a little bit of here. We even have a pop of blue, which I found very interesting in the fall winter 2021 collection that just brings us back and grounds us to this and that kind of heyday of the Gucci all over print. And we see some florals as well. If you see the words Balenciaga up there, it is because the fall 21 show, I didn't get confused. It was a an homage to and a collaboration with Balenciaga. So that is why you see that up there. Um, crossing over into the world of fashion as we often do in makeup and you know I do for my day job really, okay? So I wanted you to take a look at this and I wanna show you now some of these, these swatches, all of these swatches on my arm in studio lighting. Take a look at those here. There are 12 different shades and really they definitely run the gamut from all the way from neutral shades to these fun pops of purple and blue and some very dark shades as well. You could go super retro with this look, which um, I do a little bit today, or you can be very of the moment today. Let's head outside into the California sunshine and show you these in natural lighting. Take a look at them here in my front yard to see it best. I think sometimes we see shades the best when we see them just in sunshine or the best we can do. Getting something color correct on a computer screen or a phone screen is not always the easiest, but I'm trying to give you a few different ways to look at it. If you need any swatch comparisons or anything like that, please don't hesitate to ask below or over on Instagram. Okay, now that we have looked at those, we are going to try this on. I'm going to do a retro meets today look very quickly in my own inimitable quick way. And then I'm going to tell you if I think you need this under your holiday tree, this season and this holiday season, so stay right there. Okay, there's just no reason not to do this up royally. We spent royal money on it, right? Okay, and there's no reason not to go with this blue. Um, why not? I did this kind of 60s retro, very pink lip for Makeup by Mario, and I figured that would play well 
if it's not too costly, me, off the light blue. So let's just get started. I'm gonna just grab a rougher brush here, the number one. Seems to be always what I grab. It's like my favorite. And I'm gonna go in right here to this shade over here. If these shades have names, I don't think they do. If they do, though, I will make sure to list them. I just never look while I'm doing it. Wherever the color strikes me. And I always end up reaching for this rougher number one. Rougher has some really cool uh, products that are coming very, very soon, by the way. So do look out for those, and I'll have info on those soon as well. Some modular brush systems and storage stuff. Some cool things from them that I'm excited about. Okay. Let's, okay, I know that I kind of want this blue really on the lid. <laughs> and I know you want the amusement of seeing me use it. So I'm just going to use the same refer brush and just go in with this really matte shade right here. Just kind of into, I'm just going to kind of go back and forth, guys, into the crease. Um, just to make my eyes pop a little bit, I have, as I always either say or complain, depending on what you want to call it, I have hooded eyes. And so if I'm going to do this kind of a blue here on the lid, I, I need to do something just really, just kind of matte and a little bit darker, just to make it stand out a bit more and make that part of my eye recede. Okay, I am going to take another little brush. This happens to be a rougher number 28, upside down, and go under my eye with that same shade. All right, let's do this blue. I might use my finger. There's no D2 um, because it's not, it's a matte shade, but I just might try it with my finger just to get the placement correct and just kind of stick it right there in the middle. And it's kind of funny, I was looking at Gucci and they suggest using your fingers, not for the shade, but for the palette. Uh, and I, I think we should be using our hands and our fingers more, to be honest, especially if you don't share makeup and you have clean hands. And you know where your hands have been. Oh, I'm kind of liking that. It's very, feels very retro, you guys. It feels very retro, almost like I could definitely, oh, I could definitely use, I like feel like I should be throwing a Tupperware party. Do you know what I mean? Raise your hand at home if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the brush just to make it a bit more subtle. And then go home and make a pot roast. <laughs> Cause you know, it has that retro vibe to me. I don't know why it's retro mom Tupperware party vibe, but I just went back in by the way. Cause if you're gonna do it, do it right. I just did the whole, this is what I saw Gucci do, you guys. That's why I'm doing it. Um, okay, so let's let's darken the corners just a bit here with this darker matte brown, and then then I'm going to do, I just I just gotta modernize it a little bit, guys, if you don't if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, then just darken the edges a little bit and underneath, and then we I do want to put a little bit of sparkle in here, but which shade? But which shade? Hmm, I guess this one right next to the blue, right? Why not? I just want it just a little bit in the center. I just want to lighten it up a little bit, just modernize it a little bit. You don't have to. I'm always afraid if you go a little bit too retro, um, especially with this shade of lipstick, it can get a bit costumey. So let's just try to bring it to today, into today, just a little bit. And I'm gonna grab a rougher number three and take that same little shade right there, kind of what I like to call a mermaid shade, a green blue, and just put that, pop that right into the corner of the eye. What do you think? The question of course remains also, well I'm gonna come back right now and give you some final thoughts with some mascara and some eyeliner on, and the question of course becomes 150-ish dollars, what do you think? Stay right there. Well I'm back, um, added in, I almost put a little bit of lip gloss on, but I really decided that taking it a little more 60s, since I took the eyes a tad bit more grungy 90s, I thought kind of spread it through the decades and made it retro worthwhile rather than costume um, and a lot of mascara for today's look. Um, okay, so do we want to spend 150, okay, it's $149 American on a Gucci palette? Well, yes and no. No, because none of us need to do that or frankly should be doing it, I suppose, but I am not your bank manager and so I don't, I don't generally report on those sort of things. You get to manage your own money. 
get me out of it. <laughs> um, what you're paying for are a few things here. You're paying for the Gucci name. You're paying for this extremely, I think, interesting uh, color story, which I really like. There's a lot you can do here. Yes, I used this powder blue shade and I actually had a lot of fun with it. Um, and it's something I think I can wear for an everyday look, which is kind of exciting for a light blue. But there's this beautiful uh, purple shade sapphire, or, you, or I should say um, purple shade in there. There is this beautiful kind of maroon shade and oranges, all sorts of tans, a very, very dark blue black, peaches. It, there's a lot in here to do with. We have it removable, so it comes out for taking out of this case, taking it with you on the go in a different setting, refilling, we don't know, okay? And this extremely collectible, albeit right now finger printed, um, Gucci collector's case that is quite weighty and beautiful. This would make a lovely gift for someone else or for yourself, of course. Um, I think the shadows performed really, really well. Are they the best performing shadows that I have ever used in my entire life? Absolutely not. Um, but are they poor performing shadows? Absolutely not. They are performed just beautifully. The color story is interesting. The collector's case is gorgeous. I think it really works, especially if you are a fan of the brand or a fan of their uh, 21 fall winter collection. I think it really works with that. So this will be your decision. Um, it is nothing to write home about in terms of performance, but certainly not bad. I'm actually really happy to have it in my collection. I think it's beautiful and it makes me happy. So if this is something that is within your budget for a gift, my vote is yes. Um, I am not saying please save your money and stay away by any means, but if you are a collector, do you, must, do you have, simply have to have it? No. So put me somewhere in the middle towards yes on this one, but any specific questions that you have or any sort of shade um, swatches, uh, you know, any sort of combinations of swatches or comparisons that you need over on Instagram, feel free to ask me here or on Instagram. And any specific questions that you have that will help you decide whether or not to purchase, I am always happy to weigh in on that. Just let me know below or again over on Instagram. Leave your comments below because I want to know what you want it, what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.